Hi guys, Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Wonder Woman from Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Now I think this is a really nice looking figure. Uh, the paint on it and everything is really nice. Um, so this is um, Wonder Woman from the DCEU. Um, her DCEU appearance. And what we're looking at here is the Gail Gadot Wonder Woman. Uh, this is a really nice looking figure. I really like this yellow, um, red metallic paint here. And um, I really like the silver and yellow on her gauntlets. And I think the face sculpt is actually really good. Um, in terms of accessories, she comes with her golden lasso, and she comes with this um, tiara for her head, which is removable. And as far as articulation goes, her head can't really rotate a full 360 because of her hair, but her arms do move out that far, and her elbows go in that far. Um, she has hand articulation, articulation, um, in her chest. Um, it goes that far back. Articulation in her knees. And articulation in her feet. And she has toe articulation right here, which is really nice. Um, her legs can kick out that far which is really nice that it's, um, her leg articulation isn't limited because of this. And it goes in that far. And, um, I think this lasso, you, you could put it around her like this and you could actually fit it, um, right into her hand. So you could get her in some pretty cool poses. So that's really cool. So she could just hold it or you could put it around her um, waist because there's this thing right here you could put it on and this tiara is removable and you can put it on if you want it to stay you're going to have to hold it a little bit but it doesn't really stay on that well it tends to pop off real easily but it's better to have it than not to have it. But um, this is a really nice figure. Now, what I want to do is set this figure aside for the moment so we could do some comparisons to some other Wonder Woman figures that we have. Here we have, um, the, not a McFarlane, but we're going to put her right next to the DC Multiverse Gail Gadot Wonder Woman figure. And as you can see, this figure right here is a lot shorter. Um, and it's not McFarlane Toys, it's just DC Multiverse. But that was from the way back in 2017 for the Wonder Woman movie. I, I still think that it's a pretty good figure. Um... It's got really nice detail and everything. It comes with a sword, but her articulation is kind of limited because of this coat. But if we take a look at her herself, she's actually um, pretty nicely detailed. So you won't have any trouble getting both of these on your DC display. And just for fun, from the same movie, we have a um, Funko Pop um, Wonder Woman with her shield and sword. So we're going to put this right here so you can actually see them all together that if you're um, building a DC display and you want to display your Wonder Woman stuff, um, these are not bad choices at all. I, I think that these are really nice. Now, these are all the Wonder Womans that I have in six inch scale. Um, I think I also had another one, but it was a, an entirely different look. It was more of like a comic Wonder Woman, not the um, D 
DCEU version, but this figure is not bad. Um, I would totally recommend it in terms of Wonder Woman figures. It's got really nice sculpt and really nice detail. And her back is nicely detailed and sculpted in there too. From her hair to her gauntlets to the accessories that it comes with. I would definitely recommend picking this thing up. Uh, the only dislike I have about the figure is this tiara that doesn't really stay on really well. But if you place it on, you should be able to get it to stay. But, um, yeah. So, this has been my review of the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Shazam Fury of the Gods Wonder Woman figure. And, um, please like this video. Please subscribe for more action figure reviews. And I'll see you guys on the next video review.